Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using an ActiveX control text box to add data to a variable. So I have fictitious data loaded onto this Excel worksheet. And I want to add a text box to the worksheet so that I can populate that text box and hit enter and have it add to this skill test variable here in column C. So first I'm going to go up to the developer ribbon. If you don't have the developer ribbon displayed, just go to file options and this Excel options dialog will appear. Select customize ribbon and you can add developer here by checking the checkbox next to developer. Once in the developer ribbon, I'm going to move to controls and then insert and you can see there are two options. You have form controls and ActiveX controls. I'm going to be using an ActiveX control, specifically the text box. So select that and then drag it onto the worksheet. Now you'll notice here that if I click on this text box, I can't type data into it. I can't populate it with data. That's because I'm in design mode. So you go up to design mode and click it again. Now I could type data into the text box. So in order to have this enter the values into the next available row in the skill test column, I'm going to use some VBA code. So I'm going to go back to design mode and double click this text box. And I'm going to want to add these two subroutines. I'm going to start with the bottom one here. This is a private sub text box one underscore key up. And this is set up top here to the right by selecting key up. And it contains just three lines of code. If key code equals 13, then call add value, which is the subroutine up here, and then end if. So if you depress the enter key, it's going to call the add value subroutine. Moving up here to the add value subroutine, private sub add value. First, I'm going to declare the R variable as long. Then I'm going to set R to equal last row that has a value in it using this line of code here. And notice that the under the cells, it's active sheet dot rows dot count for the row and then the column C for the column. In the next line of code, I'm going to set the next available cell in the column to equal the value that was typed into the text box. So I do that with this line of code here. I'm then going to activate the text box and set the text box equal to nothing so that I can enter the next value. So I'll be able to enter a value, hit enter, it'll clear the text box, and it'll be set for the entry of the next value. So let's test this code out. I'm going to move back to the worksheet, and I'm going to move out of design mode so that I can type data into this text box. So let's say that the next value in this data set, in this skill test variable, is 55. So I type 55 and click enter and it adds that value into the next empty row in column C. Let's say the next value is 10 so I input 10, hit enter and it'll just continue adding the values to the next empty row in the column. So moving back to the code I had this set for that skill test variable which is column C. So I have column C here as I noted before. And then in this active sheet dot cells, you see the value three, the third column. If you want to use a different column, simply edit these two values. Also notice that I've used the object text box one to refer to the text box on the worksheet. If I move back to the worksheet and go back to design mode and select the text box we can see the name over here, text box one. 
We can rename this text box by right clicking, going to properties, and you see name is the first item in the list. From this properties dialog we can also modify a number of other properties for this text box. Some of the more popular properties to edit would be the back color, border color, the font for color, the height and width, link cell, multi-line, and the word wrap. I hope you found this video on using an ActiveX control text box to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.